Hey everyone, it's Chris from Rat Race Rebellion. And today I want to show you how to find remote jobs with Disney. Now, most of us think of Disney and we think of Disney movies, Disneyland, Disney World. Um, and if you're a person of a certain age like me, you may have fond memories of the wonderful world of Disney. Um, I remember being allowed to watch that every Sunday night in spite of the fact that it came on at seven o'clock and ran for an hour and we had a 7.30 bedtime. There are six kids in my family. I'm the second of six. And you better believe we were pretty happy campers when every Sunday night we got to stay up a half hour late and just sort of camp out on the couch or with a pillow on the floor and one of the Afghans that my grandmother made and watch whatever Disney was serving up that night. What most people don't know is that now Disney owns a lot of other companies that are under that Disney umbrella. They own 100% of ABC, Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilms, BAMTech, and Fox Entertainment. And they're also majority owners of ESPN and Hulu. So they are massive. Um, so when you are looking for a job, the way that I'm going to show you how to find remote jobs with them today, you're going to see all of the remote jobs that are open, not only with Disney proper, but with all of the other companies that come under that Disney umbrella as well. So let's get things started. As always, I'm going to head over to the homepage of the company that we're looking at. And in this case, that's Disney.com. Now, one of the reasons that I like to start on the homepage is it's a good way to know that regardless of where you end up, as long as you follow from the homepage, you're going to be sure that you're looking at a job that is actually with Disney or one of their companies. Sometimes and we're seeing more of this unfortunately lately, scammers will come up with domains that closely approximate a hiring company and people will get fooled into thinking that they're actually looking at a job with a major corporation. So start at the homepage and you know that way that you're looking at the real thing when you get there. What I always do is I start by looking at the top of the page to see if there are any obvious links that are going to take me to their careers, employment, jobs, whatever, and I'm not seeing a link there. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page because if you can't find it at the top, it's generally at the bottom. And you can see right here, they have this small link to careers. So let's click on that. And it's going to take us to this page. And you'll notice that now we are at jobs.disneycareers.com. So now, even though we're at a different domain, we've gone from Disney to Disney careers, we know that this is a safe page because we landed here starting at disney.com. A few weeks ago, you may recall, if you've seen it, I did a video on a scam that's using the Kodak name. And the URL that the scammers are using is KodakCareers.com because Kodak didn't wisely grab up the URL like Disney did. A scammer purchased it and is using KodakCareers.com to make people think that they're actually hiring for Kodak when actually they're just dragging people down the road to hell because it's a mess, that scam. If you haven't seen that video, um, you can check it out here on our YouTube channel. It's easy enough to find if you just look at our video list. So here we are at DisneyCareers.com, and you can see that they do have some menus here to help you through the process, talking about their career areas, their programs, information about them, and what it's like to work at Disney. Um, and again, it's always worth taking a look at the page that you drop onto when you go to a company's career page. I'm going to hop back up here to the top and I'm not going to enter anything into the search field. Instead, I'm just going to click on search jobs. The reason I do that is generally it's going to take me to a page like this where I have some filtering options where I have advanced search features that I don't get when I just enter information into that first field. So you can see that in this right-hand column, 
One of the items that they do have is an option to select whether or not you're looking for remote. So of course, we're gonna click on that X and say, yes, we want to look at remote. And you can see that there are considerably fewer jobs. They have 973 jobs available generally, and nine of those are open for remote. So I'll go ahead and click on that, and we can see the jobs that they have available here. Now, some of these will be in the US, some of them will be overseas, because of course, Disney does have an international presence. And as with most of the companies that offer advanced search features or filters, you'll have an option to go through and choose the category that you're looking at. You can select the country. So if we wanna make sure that we're looking just at US, we can select that. Um, and of course, you can choose your job level, the language, the business that you want to work in, and you'll see the ones that they have listed here, Disney Entertainment, Disney Entertainment Television, ESPN, and the Walt Disney Company. And it will have the time type, are you looking for full or part, or what kind of a job. Now, in this case, it's giving me limited menus because it's only showing me the options for what I've already selected, remote in the US, all right? So when there are when there are more jobs available remote, or if you're not looking for remote and just wanna look generally at jobs with Disney, then you'll have a longer list and you'll have more options in that right-hand column as well. So from here, I just wanna go through and click on any one of these jobs. I'm just gonna say program up. I'm gonna go specialist school production operations with ESPN, let's do that. And as usual, what we're going to have here is information about the job. We're still in DisneyCareers.com, so we haven't moved. The reason I want you to observe that is because I'm trying to figure out during this process whether or not Disney uses applicant tracking software, or ATS. And we'll be able to determine that here in just a moment. Um, but this will give us some information about the company, the job, what they're looking for, nice pay range, 128 to 189,000, um, and just details about that. So to figure out whether or not they're using applicant tracking software, I'm going to click on that Apply Now link and watch the URL up here at the top of the page to see if it changes. And it does. Disney is using applicant tracking software through myworkdayjobs.com. Very popular um, applicant tracking software. We see a lot of big companies using it. Um, and in this case, you're going to need to either sign in or create an account with Disney through My Workday Jobs to get things started. Now, the reason I want you to always look to see whether or not a company is using applicant tracking software is because if they are, you want to make sure that your resume is applicant tracking software friendly, ATS friendly. And that's because companies that use applicant tracking software oftentimes set it up with certain parameters that will have the bots, the ATS, screen your resume to see if you're hitting certain benchmarks before your resume will go into the hands of human beings. So if you're not hitting the marks that are set by the HR or talent acquisition folks, then there's a very good chance that your resume is never going to land in their hands and they're never going to even have a chance to look at your application. If you don't understand what applicant tracking software is or why companies use it or how it functions and how you can build a resume that is ATS friendly, then you're definitely going to want to watch module eight of our free online course about how to find and land legitimate remote jobs. And I will include a link to that video in the description below. You can also find it just by clicking on playlists in this channel, and it will show you all of the modules of that course. It's a 10 module course. Um, but this particular module, module eight, focuses on building applicant tracking software friendly resumes.
All right. So the other reason I want you to pay attention to that is you will have noticed that that URL changed. Now you're at a site that's my workday jobs. And if you encounter a URL like that somewhere in the wild and haven't launched directly off of the Disney site, um, you may see the URL and wonder whether or not it's legitimate. If you're not sure, head over to the Disney site, follow the path that we just took, and just confirm that the job that you're looking at is actually listed in their career listings. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Um, we do try to respond to everybody in a timely fashion. If you have ideas for videos that you'd like us to do, please drop those comments in there as well. If you like this video and you found the information useful, then by all means, give us a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that you like the video and that you'd like to see more content like this. And while you're at it, click on that subscribe button and ding the little bell to make sure you get notifications every time we upload new content. Also, if you're looking for a way to bolster your search for legitimate remote jobs, you're going to want to stop by the ratracerebellion.com website where we post screened legitimate remote jobs five days a week, Monday through Friday. And also subscribe to our newsletter, which also comes out Monday through Friday, and that will help ensure that you never miss any of the valuable content that we post to the site. That's it. Everybody have a wonderful day. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.